do 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 Welcome, friends, to your 18th Java game tutorial. What we're going to do in today's tutorial is set up some items because, uh, you know, it'll make your game a little bit more unique. We have, we'll like set up a, you know, a little item our ball can hit and it'll like lengthen our platform length or it can shorten the platform length or it can add gravity, uh, you know, make gravity less so our ball can bounce higher or, you know, change our DY. Uh, when it shoots up off of uh, you know our platform so we can get a higher bounce as well so that's what we're gonna do in today's tutorial is set up just our base item um, class and then we'll you know set up some different items that will extend this item class so the first thing that we want to do is we want to right click go to new class boring stuff we're gonna call this item and uh, set this bad boy up so let's get in here and what we need is let's just go to our platform class uh, we need constructor we need an update method a check for collision method and a paint method so let's just grab those and uh, jump over back to our item class and then clean it up here or actually just let's leave it for now um, we got some problems but it's cool don't worry about it uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our item and give it some variables which are gonna be private um, and we're going to say x, y, or I'm sorry, private int, um, x and y, because, you know, we need a positioning system here. And what else? Uh, dx. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, a width. All right. I think we're getting somewhere. Maybe a height. Actually, let's make this ball class a ra uh, like a circle. So we're going to say a radius. Um, all right, that should be good for now. Whatever, we'll add some more later if we need it. And let's set up our default constructor. So control space, default constructor, shabam, and there we go. So now we might want to set up our X and Y. Um, when this initial item is created, we are going to, uh, let's set up another one kind of like we did with our platform that takes two constructors. So we'll take it int. Um, X and Y um, and set the this X equal to whatever's being passed in uh, this dot Y equal to whatever's being passed in we'll set our DX equal to a negative 2 and hopefully that'll stay consistent um, throughout you know even how fast our platforms are going items always gonna go across the screen at you know negative two we might tweak this later but uh, who cares alright so the next thing that we need to do is we have our update method this is gonna be the same our X is just gonna move to the left by a position of DY or DX so that's cool we're gonna use this check for collision um, and we're passing in you know again from the ball this is the same uh, you know update method that we have from our platform class so that's pretty cool um, what else if our uh, item is off the screen to the left minus the radius um, because again we're gonna draw the ball from the center um, so we're just gonna you know exit out by the radius there so that's cool uh, what else maybe we want to amp this up a little bit um, and not have our items come out as often as our platforms so we will just add uh, 2000 and we will add a random 3000 in there so items won't come up too often I don't know we'll experiment with this for now we'll just say a random 300 um, just so we know um, our games actually working all right, so we got that set up. What else do we need? Our collision with the ball. We're going to check the ball's X, the ball's Y, and uh, the radius of the ball. And, uh, you know, actually we'll just worry about this later. And we don't want a rectangle. We want a circle again. So just so we get this kind of right, we're going to go back to uh, our ball class where we got our update method and we're just gonna kinda copy this same format so copy that go back to our item class paste it his ear and let's change the color to green so we get something a little bit different um, just 
kind of winging this tutorial if you guys haven't noticed. So there we go. Uh, that seems like it's working. Um, the other thing that we need to define is the radius. So let's get that set up within our constructor method. And we're just going to set our radius equal to be uh, 20. What was our ball's radius? Uh, no, we want it to be smaller. So we'll say like 10. Um, there we go. And actually what we're going to do instead is we aren't going to have this X and Y constructor. We're just going to have the X. And we'll get rid of the Y because the Y is just going to be equal to a random Y height from the top of our applet to 400 pixels down, somewhere random within there. Um, and again, since we're working with a random object, got to create one real quick. So nothing new here. Random, bam. And y is now equal to r dot next int, and we'll say 400. And we also want to move it down a little bit more so it doesn't get cut off at the top of our applet. So we're just going to say a random 400, anywhere from 0 to 400, or 0 to 399, plus our radius. So that's cool. All right. Now let's go into this uh, collision and we're gonna star out the actual collision itself so forward slash star and uh, star back for backslash forward slash forward slash crazy alright there we go so we pretty much have our item set up now let's try to implement it so again we're gonna go back to our main game screen which is starting point this is our applet and we're gonna kinda set it up again with an array um, but we're only gonna have uh, you know three items at a time so we're gonna set up a new item and we're probably gonna change the implementation of this later but as for now we're just gonna set this equal to a new item and we'll say three and let's give this the name of item because this one's giving us a little bit of troubles here and there we go alright so now what we need to do kinda of set up um, same format with our for loop so we're gonna copy this for loop within our start method paste it and instead of p length we're gonna say item length and instead of p i we're gonna say item i um, is equal to a new item and again we only had the x positioning that we have to worry about so we're gonna get rid of this height or this y position that we had there and we're gonna change this variant to be about 2000 um, for the first time these load all right, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's copy this one for loop within our run method and get this bad boy set up. So we're going to say item instead of p again and update. It's going to call the same update method with two parameters, passing in the context of our applet and passing in the con or you know information about our ball here. Um, so that's cool. Let's go down to our update method. Or I'm sorry, our paint method and create another for loop. I'm going to copy this. Oops, I think I messed up on that last for loop. Uh, we need to change this to item, which I think I might have forgot, forgotten. But uh, anyways, maybe not. Um, so we're gonna say p, change p to item, and uh, but don't p out an item. That'd be crazy. All right, so let's just uh, change that for loop up here to item as well. Make sure you make that change, um, so it only runs through three or however many array, uh, items we have in our item array. So let's save this and run it, see what happens now. Okay, cool. Uh, we have our first item appearing. And, uh, you know, let's see if we can get them, which we won't because we cleaned out that one. What was it? What, what, what did we clean out? We cleaned out the collision method for, you know, our item. But, you know, we get something simple like this. Uh, eventually, we're going to have to change the items, but that gives us a nice basis um, for a base item class. And I can't get up there to get one um, just to test that the collision doesn't work, but I know it doesn't. So, all right, anyways. Um, cool. Uh, I think that's going to be it for this tutorial. Wait. Why did we set the, the item to be green when our ball is green? All right, anyways. Okay, well, I will catch you guys later. As you can see, we don't have any collision yet, but that's all right. Peace.